this. So common to play that, that retake. So we'll see what they're able to do with this. Well, they're already and waiting there with that Frenzy. Frenzy still, still very popular despite the price increase. And here they go straight through. Your boy Dre trying to open up the action there. Drone will be able to deal with him. And another one coming through as well. So TSM, it's all TSM in the kill feed at the moment. It's looking like a terrible start here for Luminosity. Yikes. But... That's, I think, pretty fun to see because I... ...up to safety, and Luminosity's doing the same. They got the info that they wanted, but it'll be interesting to see how heavy they rotate off of that. They know they're not going to push their way up towards A anymore. You hear the door going down. You imagine they're going to start to rotate over to B, and that's exactly where you see Luminosity coming. But Sabros is the problem. He's the first one there. Took mid control, able to take care of Thief early on. And that is going to be now a very... Difficult site to retake and hold as we see TSM having their way with it. And it's not going to be really all that much left for Luminosity here. They managed to get a kill out of this round so far. And that's it's uh, that's okay, I guess. Ultimately, the mines around every single corner. So it, it is quite stressful. But again, the experience will really help. You can see that TSM now working on the split towards the A site. Able to go through the tree position. And they'll be able to come onto, onto an A site that's not super well defended here. Oh, but no. with that said... Moose and your boy Dre able to make life rather difficult as the push continues to come through and what? Moose has done so much damage, it leaves just Wardell in the clutch. Wardell, no blade storm, but he does have a Vandal in his pocket in a 1v2. He's going to be able to get the spike down. He's going to back up, get the shot. He needs to see one, looks for the second, lands one shot, and dashes away. Drops things down to a 1v1, but he's down the third health. He's going to have a chance, and Wardell goes huge for TSM as well. Yeah, I, I like the play from Thief there because if he gets the kill, he can dismiss away. That does make the retake a lot easier. And that's kind of fundamentally one of the elements, one of the aspects of why you would pick Arena. Um, and it's going to be a 4v5 retake though. And they do have a server coming in for you know, the recons. And I'm not sure if there's any shock darts available, but we'll see if they can make something work here. Can be quite difficult to defend if you're all stuck on the site, and it is a site and a main, and and one player cat as well for TSM. So they are set up really well for this. As the retake comes through, TSM indeed the crossfires are working out. He's the last one alive with 58 health. Just gonna back off. Not really gonna have a chance to do much of anything. Maybe no, not even gonna be able to keep his life. So T. But Sabrosum have a chance at one. No, Stellar with the ghost getting the best of them. That's gonna give mid control over to Luminosity. Yeah, that's a little scary because that's some information. It's a gun collected as well. And you can see that there's a gamble stack coming in through towards the A site because they're already they're mostly droned out B main. So they have a good sense of what's happening here. They've already started to rotate. Jeez. There's a proto with the Sheriff. And it's looking quite grim now. Long range Hunter's Fury coming into play. Yeah. And it is a shutdown here. Who's going to get caught up in both house? The interesting thing is you, you, you actually you normally see this because it's bait, right? It, it, it's exactly what a proto can do right there. They try to go in because they think they have control, but there's somebody in spawn who's able to mow them down on the cross. TSM's just down to two members left. Luminosity and at least a numbers advantage as they try to take this site back. Moose is still anchoring things down, and he's as healthy as they come. That doesn't know about Carlos' position, but doesn't matter. He still finds the headshot on the reaction, and it's going to be Luminosity holding on, and that's a beautiful, beautiful round again. And... Man, it's just for day. There's that paranoia. It looks like they might try to swing with it. Just enough to get some boom and have to keep post up and run. Ooh, nice trace coming through there. And there is actually some presence here on Catwalk. You can see that already Thief is feeling it. He's worried about it. Sabros is there. The push from Hazen and B main is not going to work out. And Luminosity looked like they were getting pinched. But again, they just understand what's going on. And they are expectant. And they deal with it beautifully well. Thief picking up another one. And TSM get totally sh yeah, I'll be, I'll be interested to see what TSM plan to do here. They do have some ultimates available, but look at Thief go. Ooh. That's great stuff. Again, from Cowalk, the aggression works out so often for Thief. He's so confident, and you can see exactly why he's been placed on that Reina. He gets the opportunities to take those fights and back away if he needs to with the dismiss. Or Dell actually decides to pull out the knives in the three versus five, knowing that a buy is in store for them in the next round. They still want to make this one hurt, though, for Luminosity, and we'll have to see if Wardell can catch something. But look at the discipline here from Luminosity. They are not putting anything to chance once again, just holding their ground. They got a five versus three. They don't have to do anything special. This will be interesting. Yeah, there's that swing. Oh, well, you didn't even really have to because Steve is just playing out of his mind. He gets four that round. Stellar gets the last one. A flawless round from LG. Early mid play and oh, there we go. Steve, he wanted to switch things up, but he gets caught. 
Here, Keller's gonna use the Hunter Fury's one. He's gonna be good for one as Stellar drops. Drone dropping as well as Moose goes big. He goes for two, give him the third as he takes full control of the middle of the map and puts odds back in Luminosity's favor. Oh no, oh no, this is like, it was looking so good initially for TSM, but it's all fallen apart. Moose in mid, just catching that rotation through. He's able to take him out, so they're gonna have some of that information, but they're gonna try to invest onto the A site anyway. Seller's the first one there. He's gonna take care of Sub Rosa as he continues to push the matter. Dre and Thief get one apiece. TSM down to two. Yeah, Thief's still on that site, looking extremely dangerous. This guy cannot be stopped. Some, some rotation. We also have a push from Moose that in the dark cover, gaining some control of B main. Doesn't realize there's two players here though. About to find out, and there goes the swing. Oh, that was close to a double. Fortunately for him, it will be denied though, as we get a very forward position from Sub Rosa as well. What a great switch up coming through from TSM. We have the lockdown as well coming, as, so that should secure the spike plant here. Nick Nossi must retake. Sub Rosa's gotta go big here because that's where their retake is gonna be coming from. Thief able to take care of them. They're gonna use the neural theft as well as the spike goes down. Now it's on LG in a 3v3 to try to create some space and try to get on there. But Wardell holding fast, takes care of Stellar, but a pearl comes in from the side. It's just down to Thief. Thief, who's been an absolute madman for Luminosity with the opportunity to do it yet again. And Hayes stops it dead in its track. Yeah, it looks like they're going to still try to force the issue. It can reset out, but they're going for it. They are confident. Yeah, man. Color's gotten pushed back pretty badly. Yeah, he was super weak. He's going to drop at the hands of Stellar TSM going to be forced to try to get this retake and the difference is here TSM can't comfortably move in through the middle of the map because of where the rain is so if, if they swing that way there's <laughs> the thief is on the other side waiting to give them the business that forces them to be pseudo one-dimensional in how they try to take the site back yeah, it's, it's funny. It's like uh, TSM are going to be receiving the same medicine as they doubled out in the first pistol in this series. And here it yeah. comes. Luminosity able to defend quite nicely so far. Well, Bell will at least deal with Feet, who's been a huge problem so far. But it's a two versus four for TSM. It's looking very scary indeed. Time is of the essence. They may, in fact, not really be any time at this point. It's just down and getting some additional kills, some money in the bag. And they're going to be able to do that. You know what? Wardell, getting those kills is huge. You know, just they're in this situation where they can play aggressively for these either exit kills or they can just go for the retake and try to just get some, some kind of damage. Stellar going big there and then a Proto and Thief are really able to continue to push the matter towards TSM as they're down to two members left. Again, it was the middle of the map. Stellar was late on the rotation intentionally. He created some more noise, made TSM. Straight forward, off of the running back, creating so much space. Color back against the wall. Not much in this position to do and he'll get at least one. The spike will be planted there. Th uh, two versus three here for TSM on this retake. So it will be difficult. And remember, Luminosity is on the bone. It's right. They had nothing but sheriffs and specters going into this round. Meanwhile, TSM had full arsenal down to two members left. One of them, one of the most more devastating players with an operator in his hands, just goes a bit wide the first time as TSM continue to try to take the site. Wardell just down to 61 health left. And Luminosity, they're, they're holed in there, Dan. You almost wonder if you're TSM if you just try to play for exits and ruin it. Yeah, definitely. Use that operator as well. There's always the element that would, I guess, one. Can he get the second? Then they can go. And that's what we're talking about. Opportunity is there for TSM. Just a brief one, but Wardell getting traded. That's what really created yep. a situation here that made this unrecoverable. And he's can't escape the, the door is down. Here from Wine. This, this has to be. This is it. Subrosa so has to get a couple kills at least hit. There's one. Is he going to find the others? Oh. He does at least just barely get Stella as well. And on top of that, it has slowed the push a little bit. So still having to take some time here, Luminosity, to clear the site. DSM have some opportunity here, some time. But a Proto with a very forward position tree is causing problems, wow. but nothing that Hayes can't handle as the lockdown's ready to go for the retake. In this 3v2, TSM, they could finally be taking a grip of this one. Numbers advantage, and you see Luminosity have no choice but to really back up. They're going to take Haze out for their troubles as they try to reset the situation. Lockdown no longer a problem. Cutler starts on the defuse. Can't blast through it because the generator's there. He has to go in aggressive. Drone takes care of one. Drone takes care of the second. TSM take the round. TSM did to Luminosity. You can use this to pull rotation of the defenders to the A site, and you can hit up that B site instead, or that mid control. But look at that. Beast going forward through A, trying to creep 
was that site, knowing that more presence would be around tree, it's taken down. There's another kill going the way of TSM, retaking the tree position. Maybe it seems like at this point, Luminosity left. well overstayed their welcome in that tree area. And now they have to go for a desperation rotation. And, and B really is the only option at this point. Well, and the thing is, Dan, it was never an option, right? Like, even with all of the noise, we talked about them trying to draw rotations to A. TSM held fast. They kept both members on B. They have one back in Boathouse. Now we'll see if they can keep things at bay. Hayes is one of the ones there. Drones are as well. Fancy footwork around the paranoia. So Rosa takes care of one. Drone back in Boathouse looking for a second, but it's actually Hayes on the sucker punch that takes care of a proto. TSM so disciplined. Dis mind as they try to retake B. They've, I mean, they've got all the personnel they could want. We'll see how they handle the the, the sheriffs, and right? And like how brutal Luminosity can be with pistols because of things like that. Yeah, you need the Hunter Spirit to get rid of a Proto, man. That guy is ridiculous. He is so insane. And that one Deagle shot, or sorry, Sheriff shot, I should say, is going to cause so many problems here. There comes the push straight no in, and just way. one, two, three, and four, just like that. The dominoes fall, and also some good info there as far as TSM are concerned. Still somewhat of a retake setup here with a very committed play from Drone. The flash goes through just one frag, though. TSM are looking not too bad after that extra one from Hayes, and his turret's going to pick up one as well. So TSM, they could, they could stop this. My gosh, they stuffed it, man. Like, the, the flash was there. It was beautiful. Haste had a great crossfire. Luminosity still tried. To, they still try, right? They get in. Moose gets the spike down. But he's a dead man walking. A 4K for Haze. They sniffed it out. Damn, they had a perfect for the reason. Yeah, and, and you know, talking of big picks, that's a Phoenix that have run it back, ready to go out of the action there, thanks to that kill from Wardell. And you can see that TSM are focusing on getting those picks, and then giving up the site and playing retake. That's that's really where it's been coming. And it's because of stuff like this, this lockdown that's available. Now, this 1v1 is huge. Omen versus Omen, Omen diff moment. We'll see exactly how that goes in a moment here. Is we'll see the lockdown actually getting destroyed. That's unfortunate. Dre, 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 Dre goes big. He was never caught in the smoke. He's able to get one and that's gonna pull members of TSM back to have to deal with him. You can't ignore him. He gets another one. Your boy Dre goes. Take and they've got tree control on their retake. Dealing with a main's pretty easy if you can just drop a smoke there. So then the players didn't get tagged, didn't respond, didn't shoot back, just held fast. And he was the one who blew the play up. Now there's no attention over towards tree. No attention towards a. Everything is being invested towards B. You hear the run it back. Has been used. Wardell doesn't even get a chance. His TSM's just down to three members left. There's the run it back. It goes offline. The player is going to use the middle step to try to give everything away. Hayes drops two left for TSM as a proto should get the spike down. Spike planted. The bros are here. Oh, he's going to get eliminated, leaving just wow. Carla. Every single shot. Look at this, the skill differential in just this round and some of the other room for this spike to be planted, which it will be. And here is this post plant setup all ready to go here for Luminosity. So it's all going according to plan. It's now just about executing the defense. We can see Sabros is working on a flank for TSM as well. Yes, there is going to be that turret there. Should spot him out and it's going to pull some of it back. The LG playing far more up than we usually see attacking teams on a post plan here. TSM seemed to be taking care of it just fine. Wardell dashes back just down to 13 health. Moose is there. The turret's gone. Sabros is on the pinch. Luminosity could be in trouble here, but it's just Sabros that's left. In a 1v3, certainly a winnable one as he gets his way onto one, but he's gonna get sucker punched by mission for them too, and they're looking good. Thief. Yep. Thief on the side takes care of one. Wardell trades him out. But Luminosity have gotten onto the site. They have a great wall up. The spike is down as well, and now they can assume their post plants. And unlike last round, and although it worked out just fine, Oproto's still holding down the middle of the map. No shenanigans from Sub Rosa or anyone else playing across the flank. Luminosity look good here in their post points. Yeah, they really do. And, and this is again, like one of the reasons why this is, it can be an attacker sided scenario because lots of, can have a lot of fights by design. And you can see that you can get a couple kills in front here, but the, the firepower, the utility advantage for Luminosity is going to secure this one and play from Hayes. He actually slowed down the effort to this fly plant quite dramatically. And there comes the paint shells. That's going to take down Stella, nice. planting the spike. So TSM doing a really good job in slowing it down, 
and starting to create a situation where the fight is on their terms. They go for the retake, the paranoia creates uh, an opportunity to gain some extra position onto the site here, looking for that retake to really start to come out to fruition. A proto, of course, with the sheriff causing problems, but now down to your boy Dre with the Spectre and the Spike defuse. The pressure's coming in, and the spray is there on no the dark cover. No way! Left. All the bullets are gone. No! Just the showstopper, Luminosity, exacting into the site, and it's going to be retake territory here for TSM. And for Luminosity there, it's a, it's essentially like a second lockdown and that you have to respect it and that you have to back up and, and give up that space to the showstopper. Luminosity follow right behind it. They get onto the site, they get the spike down, and now TSM has to retake. They have a showstopper of their own and a From the Shadows looking to see how they get back into this thing. How do they retake the site? They have full personnel as well. There's the showstopper. Hayes goes in first, takes care of Stellar. Nothing connecting on it, but Drone with the rifle gets one. Gets the second one as the Proto's gonna get caught. He drops as well, Luminosity. The round falls apart as it's just down to Moose. He's in a great spot, but he's insanely outnumbered. Gets one, Drone's up be long now. They still have to, they have to pop Spike. Time is the problem and Hunter's Fury could deny this. There it is, they're trying to deny the plant. Oh, this is so scary right now. There's 13 seconds to go for the spike plant. It's gonna come through. So Luminosity is safe after all. I mean, the Hunter's Fury, the Satchel, like the Blast, everything was being thrown his way. Manages to dance around it, and as you said, manages to get the spike down as well. TSM outnumbered here as they try to retake the site. Thief drops. Cutler with the Vandal takes care of him slowly, but surely tipping a bit more in TSM's favor, but the work is far from done as they still have three members and the clock to work against here. If you're TSM, and it, it, at this point, it just looks like they're gonna punt. Yeah, definitely trying to keep hold of that operator and keep that economy in shape. Oof. And, and again, it's worth reminding everybody, this is for a qualification spot to Masters. So there's a lot on the line with this, a lot to deal with still. The position's great, but it's telegraphed, right? Like, once that wall went up, you saw members of TSM start to rotate. Just hazed on A as everyone else has made their way over to B. But Luminosity, so far, seem to be handling it just fine. As Dre and Stellar get one apiece, Stellar's gonna get the spike down as well. It's just down to one remaining player for TSM. And, well, he's not gonna be around for long. A flawless round for long. And at the same time, the hit comes through to the A site, so <laughs> there's problems all over the place here. Luminosity, though, are finding the entry to Spike is now down on the ground. It's got to be collected and planted promptly because it's only 10 seconds left for a plant. Oh, and it's down go. to Moose. He's got to get it done by himself. And he's going to take down Wardell. Seven seconds left. He's got to get on the plant immediately. Cutler's playing the time. He'll get the frag, but there's the trade in the nick of time. Looky like TSM could be on track for that. They are looking to fight here for B-Long once again. I like that they are not giving this for free. I think that would be a mistake, and it's going to pan out here very nicely. I mean, there's at least one kill. Still, Sabrosa in a forward position, down to 7 HP. Still has some assistance here from Drone. The pressure is still on. At the same time, TSM have forward uh, presence on the A, uh, the A site, so they have a good sense of what's happening. But there is a flank coming through Kitchen also at the same time. This is so scary. Sabrosa eventually goes down, but a Proto, he could be the X Factor for Luminosity in this round. Dude, a Proto's going to blow it up. Man, he's got him pinched in. Drone's a sitting duck here. He's alone. Yeah, he has the showstopper, but he's going to have to go absolutely nuts to pull this thing off. You see them start to get closer and closer, freaking suffocating like a python around its prey. Drone there, drone one, drone two. He's already got three on the round, looking for the third, spots him. Pushes him back. TSM starting to rotate. They're starting to get their members over while Drone continues to buy time. Luminosity, the spike is down. And it's alone. Proto wins the duel. He's got to get the spike, but he's going to walk potentially right into the lap of a member of TSM. They're going to be pushing in from different fronts. Wardell's going to get pushed back. Proto has to go. He has to go now. He's going to try to get the spike down. Meanwhile, Hayes on the flank, right in the back, takes care of him. What a round. He either pushing the long right now when he TP or they're going A. Now TSM know precisely what's happening. He's just hitting the shot. And there are some shots from Sabrosa knocking him down. And it's looking fantastic here for TSM. The wins in a proto in kitchen again. It's causing problems with his utility. This can this can be very, very problematic. Oh no! <laughs> a proto caught in the side, not expecting Sabrosa up the tube. And that's now TSM in a in a great position for this retake. Five versus four. There is a res available, of course. You know, a proto is not within a resable. Oh, hello. He's playing mind wall. That was not expected, and that could make the difference here. 
And can Luminosity down to two members left, but PSN's two members that remain are certainly very weak. Make this a 1v1 and a half as it drops down to 1v1 and Moose goes nuts. He gets three, wins the round for Luminosity. Wars the A side here, trying to explode onto your boy Dre. Paranoia is pretty good, not finding the connections he wanted immediately. It's a little bit messy, but a proto is just cleaning it up quite nicely, putting on a clinic with that classic. And the spike will go down on the A side. So TSM, two versus four here. It's going to be tough, but it's a pistol. The ghosts are out, and the ghosts truly are out. A proto is going to just delete Cutler, and there's not much left there. Poor timings for TSM, and that's Luminosity off to a good start. Yeah, and this is like the pistol I really wish I had. You know those television. Now they just have to hit the shots, and this is going to be tough. It's all going to be down to hitting their utility nicely. There goes the paranoia, and there goes the first. The paranoia was actually going to land on Wardell, so they've actually managed to find a way in. There goes a nice follow-up with the shock dart from Moose. He's got position at the back side, and he's going to be able to take down Haze, leaving it all down to Cutler. Beautiful from Moose. I don't even understand how he got so much done by himself there. And there doesn't seem to be a way to breach the front lines here for TSM. They have to force the issue. It's going to be very difficult, though. But well. Wardell, with a shuffle right and shuffle left, takes down your boy Dre. Knives come out. And maybe, Doug, that's the start of something here. Yeah, that certainly might be what's needed to break the ice. Is TSM, they still haven't gotten the spike down, but you've got to be careful for a proto on the flank. TSM, full sense, because they don't have the weaponry. They have to commit to the site. They do just out. Wardell gets another one, but there's nobody watching the flank. A proto gets one, a proto gets two. Moose gets in on it as well. And TSM, again, they're pinched. Man, they're like sitting ducks in there. They don't have any room to work with. Sabrosa with the Sheriff. Not good for any. A proto gets three. Out of his position. Uh, luminosity might cause huge problems with TSM. And in, the, in a similar vein, Hayes could be problematic if left unchecked. But so far, the fight's going down on the side, and Wardell is answering the call. As he's already gotten two, the Hunter Fury's going to come out from color with 28 health left. Tries to tag members of Luminosity. Does take out Stellar. LG just down to two. A proto on the flank. Up close, the personal gets two. Looking for the third with the classic, and he gets it, baby! Luminosity take the round away from TSM. What a round! It's got to be now. And Sabrosa finds a timing up the tube. This has been a spot that has been given. And finally, TSM are able to find a way to exploit. And it's going to get caught, though. But with that frag from Wardell, there's definitely room to play with. Oh, Wardell drops. The spike follows with it. Luminosity looking to push the matter to get to map point. But Sabrosa has other thoughts. He takes care of one. He drops. And Cutler left alone. He's not around. Luminosity for, for this roster, like everything is starting to come together and it's coming together at just the right time where they can pull off plays like that. TSM, I, I mean, that, that, that thing. Is anything left in the tank? Give a Luminosity looking really good. Great open opener there from Wardell though with the Guardian able to tap down Stella, which is always going to be good, getting rid of Sage early on in the rounds. And in the meantime, TSM worked their way up onto the A side. Obviously, this is where all the Kyojo utility is. So it is a little bit annoying because that will create some delay. A proto from the back from the rafters. The trade's good. And we'll see some space gained here. But again, it's so hard against Luminosity. They're always going to be good for the first.